Grade 3 Math, number 92, Measuring Length, Inches, and Parts of Inches. Okay, I'm going to talk about measuring, and a ruler is 12 inches long, okay? A ruler has measurements on it, okay? It's broken up into inches, and when you see these two little lines, that is the symbol for inches. So people want to save time. They don't want to write the whole word inches. They just put those two little lines. The inches can be split into smaller parts as fractions of the inch. So we've talked about fractions. Let's take a look at this. I made a giant edge of a ruler. Okay, A real inch is very tiny. It's about that big. But I made this giant one so that the inch was this big so you could see all the little parts. So the biggest line is the inch line. And whenever you look at a ruler, I'm going to show you a real measuring one that I use to draw on my board. Look at this thing. I use this to draw on the board. And it's you can see it's 24 inches long. And the IN at the end there, see the IN at the end, it says IN. That's for inches. Then it's got a one, two, three, four, five, and see, it goes all the way to 24 inches. Well, a ruler is really 12 inches. This is just like an architectural design uh, drawing tool, and it even has a level on it. Now, on the other side, if you see these little lines over here, those are centimeters. And we're not talking about that today. We're talking about inches. We're going to talk about centimeters in an upcoming video. But right now, we're worried about inches. So do you see on my ruler the big lines that have the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? See that? Those are each inches. In between them, you see a medium line. Those are half inches. Okay? And then there's all kinds of little lines in between there, and that's what we're going to talk about. So... The biggest line is the inch line, and that's where you're going to see a number. And then normally, you don't see these numbers here. Normally on a ruler, you just see a 1 and then all these little lines. But this is what the lines mean. In between the 0 and the 1 inch mark is a half inch. That's the red one here. There's two of them in the inch. Half and half. Because remember in fractions, two halves make a whole one? All right. The next smallest one is the fourth inch, and that's this blue one. Two of those make a half inch. There's four of them in an inch. One, two, three, four. See, there's four quarter inches. One, two, three, four. In between the quarter inches, the fourth inches, is eighth inches, and it's that big. And look, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's why it's called eighths, because there's eight of them in an inch. The fourth inch is called that because there's four of them in an inch. And the half inch has the two for the denominator because there's two in an inch. Okay? So if you look, this is an eighth of an inch right here. See the green says eighth inch? So that's the eighth inch mark. See this blue one is one-fourth inch. This red one is half inch. And this purple one is three-fourths inch. We've got one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths, because that takes the place of half inch and two-fourths. It's the same thing. So one-fourth, two-fourth, three-fourths, this purple right here shows three-fourths of an inch. Not a full inch yet, but it's three-fourths of an inch. The pink line is going way past the inch to this one, which is another half. See? The two-inch one would be over here, and it's off the picture. So this is one and a half inches. And see how we use the little two little marks there to say inches? All right? So now look what I've got here. This is the actual size of a ruler. I measured it when I drew it. So I have a triangular prism. See my triangular prism? 
if we were to measure this to the nearest half inch, here's a half an inch, here's one, here's one, here's one, and then here's one. See, it's this middle length one in between the numbers. So it's past the two inch mark, and it's almost at two and a half. So if we were to measure this triangular prism to the nearest half inch, it would be at two and a half inches. Okay? Now I have a blue Crayola marker. If we were to measure it to the nearest fourth inch, we got one inch, two, three, four inches, five inches. That's five and a half. We're not there yet. We're at five and one fourth because in between the halves is the fourths, remember? So this is five and one fourth inch to the nearest fourth inch. That's how long that Crayola marker is, see? You know, line it up here and then you line it up here and it's at five and one fourth. How about this pencil? We line the pencil up on this side so it's perfectly on the edge and then we look over here to see to the nearest one fourth where it's at one, two, three, four inches, four and a half inches, and that's a quarter inch, and there's one, two, three quarter inches in this four inch area here. So that's four and three fourths inches for the pencil. So that's measuring it to its nearest fourth inch, okay? So remember, in an inch, if this whole thing was an inch, you split it in half and you got a half inch and a half inch, okay? You got two halves. If you split one of the halves in half, you'd have a fourth. It would make, you could put two fourths in here, see? You could put one, two, three, four fourths in the whole inch. If you split a fourth inch in half, you get an eighth. So an eighth and an eighth, that would fit in here, that would equal a fourth of an inch, see? An eighth and an eighth is the same size as a fourth. A fourth and a fourth is the same size as a half. Here's a fourth inch and here's a fourth inch. If you add them together, it's the same thing as a half inch. And a half inch and a half inch is equal to one whole inch. Half inch, half inch is equal to a whole inch. See? We'll get into adding fractions in the future. That's not part of the common core for third grade math. It's in fourth grade math. So stick with us. And I do have adding fractions in one of my fraction folders. So you might want to check that out if you'd like to see how to add fractions. But that is measuring lengths and inches and parts of inches to the nearest half inch and the nearest fourth inch. See you next video.